I'm Janika Jackson, JJ. And there are just a few things through life that I've come to adapt to and I've learned to adapt, mainly because of family, mainly because of culture. There are times throughout our lives, we have errands to run, maybe it may be in preparation for an event, or it's just a Saturday and I need to touch up these eyebrows that my grandmother blessed me with. There was an occasion where my daughter Jenny and I, we stopped at a beauty supply and I needed an eyebrow pencil and a couple of other things. And while walking around, we stop just to take a look at some shadow, lip gloss, you know, all of those girly products that we were just looking for. And while we were looking and just talking at the packages, we noticed that one of the rep, service reps, she came beside us and she just stood there. She was trying to be ambiguous and oblivious, but it was very, very, evident that she was there to watch us and my daughter she touched my shoulder she was like mom mom and I looked over to the right and I just turned around and I looked at looked at the rep and I just stood there and then just a moment later maybe 10-15 seconds later the manager of the store came and pulled the other rep to the side and they pulled her into another row, and we can hear the conversation that she was fussing at her about how it was done. Now through the years, especially as a teen and as an adult, I've noticed when I've been watched while walking through grocery stores or um, a department store. And those moments where it's made me feel less than a person. I'm in a country where we should feel free but those are the times it reminds me that some people don't think I should have the freedom just to peruse, just to browse because of the spirit that they may have of prejudice. Racism and prejudice is, it is a spirit, but it's a demonic spirit. And I know that my parents, back to my culture and my parents, they have always taught us in Ephesians 4, 32 it says to be compassionate and kind to one another. So at that moment in the beauty supply store, when we left, we checked out, bought our purchases, my eyebrow pencil, lip gloss, and whatever else we needed. Our conversation in the in the car, I just had to have my own talk with my daughter. And I told her, I said, no matter how you feel. Eleanor Roosevelt said, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. I said, no matter what happens, you should always have a spirit of kindness. You should be compassionate and kind to others. God will bless you in your actions.